All right, guys, in this video, we are going over some basic football trading to improve your game. Now, a lot of these are going to be simple ideas, but if you're doing all of the ones I go over, I can promise you, you're going to see fast improvements. That's coming up next. What's up, guys? If you have not been here before, my name is Dave, and this is Simply Soccer, where we are releasing videos every single day at the moment to help you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss any of the videos that we release. So in this video, like I said, I'm giving you five pretty basic things that you need to make sure you're doing if you want to maximize your growth as a player. This is whether you're a beginner just starting out um, in youth football or later, or you're someone who has a little more experience. Either way, these five things are going to be useful to you. The first one is whether you are experienced or you're just a beginner is to play in actual matches often. And I can say for myself, you know, one of the things that helped me grow the most was playing a lot of matches whenever I could. You know, I remember even one indoor season, I tried to get on two or three different teams in order to be playing all of the time. I used to go around my neighborhood seeing if anyone was playing pickup soccer and sometimes they would be and I would join in. You know, the point is the more you play in matches, the more you're able to play with people where it's two teams going at each other, you know, the more you're going to grow because there are things in these situations that you can only learn through these situations. So regardless of how much individual training you do, there are certain things, again, you can only learn through matches. So if you're not on a team right now, I really highly recommend your priority is get on some kind of team um, as quickly as you can. And if you are on a team, um, find other ways that you can play more often. Even if you have to grab a few mates and play you know, small sided matches, the more you can actually get in these situations where you're bringing out your skills and you're bringing out the things you actually are doing in your training, the better. Now speaking of training, number two is consistent individual training and not just any kind of training by the way consistent deliberate training because if you're going through the motions or even worse not training at all you're obviously not improving so you need to make sure you're going out there and doing deliberate practice practice that you set up in a way to make sure it is helping you grow as much as possible now the thing is many routines will work the biggest thing is that you actually get out there and train and then after that make sure it is going to deliberately improve your match and it's going to vary based on what position you're playing but for for a lot of you, working on the fundamentals is where you need to start because any position can benefit from improving their fundamentals. I have a lot of different training videos on this channel if you want to get some ideas for your own sessions, so check those out. Speaking of what you're doing during these training sessions, number three is get the ball at your feet very, very often. And especially if you're a younger player, you want to develop comfortability over the ball as soon as possible. Because no matter what other skills you develop, if you're not comfortable with the ball at your feet, you're gonna struggle in any, at any level in any match. So you need to make sure you're doing drills like ball mastery that are going to get you comfortable hitting the ball in different ways while keeping it in control and close to your body. And I really recommend you get a ball at your feet in some way every single day even if it's just five or ten minutes on a rest day juggling or doing a quick ball mastery drill because the more you can become comfortable um, over the ball the more comfortable you are on the ball the better a player you're gonna be technically as you get older and as you move ahead in your career number four is more of an idea but it's analyze and watch pro matches often you know we are lucky that we're able to watch so many high-level matches World Cups Champions League Premier League La Liga so many different leagues for you to model after the players in those leagues and one of the things you can do is when these big teams play each other or just high level teams play each other is to analyze the matches and look at what they're doing because you're going to start picking up on patterns that you can then take into your own matches you'll also be able to pick up on what the common mistakes are at the highest level which i can guarantee if there are mistakes there they're going to be mistakes at the lower levels you're also going to see what they're doing right you're going to see their decision process you're going to see when someone makes a good decision versus a bad decision and be able to apply that to your own game you're also just going to get more of a tactical knowledge as well the more games you watch and i really can't recommend watching as many pro matches as you possibly can um, because it's just going to help your iq um, your ability to recognize patterns and everything else i already went over Number five is more of an idea and it's prioritize your growth and learning. You know, something as a footballer is you always want to be constantly challenging yourself to promote more growth, to get better at different things. And you always want to be learning new ways or um, kind of reconfirming the ways you're doing are working to actually optimize your training or optimize your growth as a player. And so what I mean is never stop being a learner. Never stop being someone who's trying to consistently grow their game in one way or another. Whether that's you start analyzing matches, whether that's you start doing better training, whether that's you get 
get a coach or something like that in order to optimize your training even more. Always look to grow as a player in you know any way that you can. You know sometimes that might just be you focus way more on the fundamentals in your training and you go to a wall and you hit the ball against the wall a thousand times and control it. You know that is still working towards your growth. You know really mastering those fundamentals. So make sure you're always prioritizing your growth. Um, your evolution as a player and you are continually looking for ways that can optimize your game and it doesn't just have to be training It can be your diet. It can be even the way you sleep I don't know what it is for you or what you need um, But always be looking for these things that could even give you that 1% more advantage uh, When you step on the field question of the day guys is which one of these have you found has helped you the most? And also let me know which one you need to start working on the most in order to have the most impact on your game Let me know down below Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to put two videos up on screen so you can continue to improve your game and stand on the pitch. Get my free ebook, Game Changer, if you haven't already. That's free in the link in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.